Hi, Chandler. How are you? I'm great. How are you? I'm very well. So I've seen the first five episodes and I'm hooked. So hooked. You're so incredible as Tabby. But take me back to the beginning. What was the audition process like? Back to the beginning. Um, what this was like summer of 2021. <laughs> I I was actually filming a movie in Toronto, Canada at the time, and um, I got the audition. I, I saw the script. I immediately fell in love with the story. Um, I was a big fan of Pretty Little Liars when I was in middle school, and so um, you know, get getting the opportunity to be a part of a a, a reimagination. Um, in in the horror genre in space that was really really exciting for me especially because at that time I had just gotten into horror movies so I was like this is kind of coincidental timing um <sighs> the audition process was truly one of the loveliest processes I've ever <laughs> gone through um so much so that I remember saying to the creative team you know I don't know who's going to get this role but I just want to say this has been so 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 wonderful um Roberto, Lindsay, um, our showrunners, the entire creative team yeah. was so collaborative and, and open to my interpretation of the character and um and my opinions that I had coming in and um and wanted wanted to hear what I what I thought about about the show and about uh, the character. And so it was um, you know, it was so evident that they're they're such wonderful people, but also like wonderful creatives. Um, the story caught my attention. Um, obviously, Original Sin is a bit grittier and bloodier um, and has a little bit more of a bite to it, um, which was really, really exciting. Um, and also getting into some topics that I think you often don't really get to see, um, at least in a really intimate way, uh, the way that we look at them um, yeah. in media to it today. So I think that was also really intriguing to uh, take on a character that is so layered um, and guarded when you first meet her, but but has a whole lot of heart to her and um, and has a really beautiful story to tell. So those were all things that made me really excited uh, to audition and then made it even more special when I when I booked the role. Yeah. So tell me about your ideas for Tabby in the beginning. Ooh, um, my ideas for Tabby. I think, you know, there wasn't a whole lot there uh, on the page in the first episode for Tabby because, again, she's very guarded. You have no idea what's going on with her. Um, mm -hmm. She's just a closed book. She's She, she loves movies. We know that much. Uh, yes. We know that she... Um, that is truly the lens through which she sees her world. So the the film references that uh, that come out so often yes. are are not even um, like intentionally said to be comedic. It's just it's just um, it's like a default. It's automatic. Um, and so to have to you know, I had a really cerebral like internal. Um, like look or perspective of, of Tabby. So much of her story, like I said, is not so clearly written um, yep. on the page. And that was really intriguing for me um, because we're not spelling out everything that's going on. Um, and so I, I, I love a challenge. Um, and I knew that that certainly would present one. Um, and uh, yeah, so those were some some ideas that I came in, I think, or that I came in with. I, I think I kept a lot down. You know, she suppresses a lot of of yeah. uh, of the trauma that she's undergone and yeah. the anxiety. And it comes out in very subtle ways, even like the physicality of her. Like she she wears a lot yeah. of rings. That was a request that I had uh, for the wardrobe team because she plays with her rings when she gets anxious. And so little things like that, Um, I came in, with with a lot that I wanted to do with the character. I love that. And she, as you mentioned, she's very into horror films. I read that you also had like prepared by watching a lot of horror films. <laughs> yeah. So tell me about your preparation process. That was <laughs> truly one of the most fun prep processes I have ever uh, gotten to do um, because it really consisted of just like curling up on the couch and watching movies <laughs> um a lot of movies because that girl is uh is very well versed in that field yes. um 
Yeah, I, it was, it was really, I literally have a Google doc of <laughs> all of the movies that she references throughout the season. Um, oh. I have to count them and see how many she makes, but yeah, it was, it was a lot of um, getting into that headspace and and seeing the world uh, through that and, and challenge, challenging myself to, to kind of contextualize things um, and, and connecting it to, to movie references. And so that was kind of a fun mental game for me. Um, but yeah, it truly, truly, it was just a lot of watching, watching movies, <laughs> watching horror, which I mentioned I had just gotten into. So I was, um, I was really excited too, um, but also kind of scared because I, um, you know, I was, I was a newbie. It was a newbie. <laughs> <laughs> Did you have a favorite? Oh, I mean, the first, uh, the first horror movies that I watched, uh, were the Conjuring movies, which mm -hmm. are incredible. Um, and so I think they stand out in my mind because they're so artfully done. Um, even just like down to the, like the color palettes and like the cinematography, the shots that they achieve. I think all of that is, uh, is really genius. And so, um, and they're really scary. <laughs> and so those, <laughs> those kind of hold a special place in my heart just because they, they were the first uh, horror movies that I was ever really um, exposed to or that I allowed myself to be exposed to um but also I'm I'm a big uh Jordan Peele fan and yes. uh which so is Tabby <laughs> like Tabby yeah yeah like Tabby <laughs> um and I guess I had watched Get Out and I think that that definitely holds its, its place in the uh the horror horror genre um yeah. and so and what I love about that is that it's it's uh it has some like really I don't want to say like fantastical elements, but I mean, it's, it's not things that happen every day. Um, yeah. but it's also very rooted in, in, you know, the experience of like, like a, a black person in today's world and like what that looks like. And that's, that's a very like grounded, um, resonant message. And so that, you know, I, I love that kind of the balance between that external and internal horror, which, you know, I think we mm -hmm. kind of, achieve that balance in original sin as well which is which is really yeah cool. yeah very mm -hmm. much so there's a lot of horror easter eggs mm -hmm. there are pretty little liars easter eggs and then there's horror easter eggs which I absolutely love. yeah something for everyone <laughs> yeah for sure so tell me about your first meeting your fellow liars with zaria bailey malia and malia Yes. Um, oh my goodness. Well, I think we were all a bit nervous coming in. Obviously, mm -hmm. um, we were big fans of the original and um yeah. and we know that the this show really kind of lives and dies by the chemistry of the cast and the girls. Uh, because at the core of the story is this beautiful, uh, complex female friendship um yeah. that that forms over the course of the season and really grows into this unbreakable bond. Um, and that came pretty easily, actually, which was really nice. Um, yeah. It was, we were granted with this, the beautiful, a beautiful rehearsal process before mm -hmm. even stepping on set. So we had about two weeks um, wow. before we filmed anything. Um, and, and a lot of those days just consist consisted of us sitting in a, a room, a rehearsal space room and, um, talking sharing our stories and uh, experiences and bonding over random things and personal <laughs> things and everything in between and so um but it still it still was very it was new um it was new because yeah. none of us really knew each other and so to see that that friendship kind of form on screen um it, I think it just felt really authentic for all of us because that's exactly what was happening behind the scenes too. You know, it yeah. with every episode, uh, you can see the bond getting stronger and that's exactly what was happening uh, between us in, in real life. So it was really beautiful. Yeah. So I don't want to get into spoilery territory just yet. So tell me about your favorite memories from filming overall. Ooh, favorite memories. Um, oh, I like this question. I don't even know <laughs> if I have like one specific one. I think um, um I I loved the days when we were all together. Um, mm -hmm. obviously we had a whole lot of stuff with with the five liars. Um yeah. and those days felt like home, you know, those were those were the days where we could just be ourselves and we yeah. were so easily fitting into the dynamic of the group and um 
that was that was easy. But the the really like the days that stick out, I think, um, are the days where we had like all the moms on set. We have an incredible group of women who are all yes. so talented and smart and having that maternal energy on set was really lovely. Um, it was it, that those days were amazing. Um, our, our cast of boys are incredible. Yeah. Um, and they brought a whole lot of energy to set. They brought the game. I mean, I always had games on set, but the games really popped off when the boys were there. Yeah. Um, and so those days were fun. It was, it's definitely the, I think the days that really stick out, uh, were the extreme days, the ones where it's like, we were doing this really, um, you know, horrific, like scary, deep, dark, you know, sequence or the really fun days where we actually got to like get away from the the darkness of the show and and have like a fun cafeteria scene or, you yeah. know, just laugh and, and you know, have be nice, like, you know, fun, simple high schoolers, which I think, yeah, those moments for the characters as well were like very nice to, to milk. <laughs> yes, yes. You need those lighter moments for sure. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So diving right into the fifth episode, tell me about filming the Halloween party and all the different parts of it. You're so badass in it. Can I tell you? <laughs> thank you. Oh, thank you so much. No, truthfully, like this is the first time, like I've only now just been able to talk about things with people and so I love <laughs> hearing your your opinions on everything um the Halloween episode was wild oh truly wild um in my opinion it was one of the hardest um episodes to film because there were so many moving parts um so so many like incredible like the incredible set deck, um, obviously that crazy Halloween party that's thrown at the the Adams house is um, incredible. And I cannot wait to post the behind the scenes pictures from, from that. Um, oh but also, you know, just the moments, I think it's a very pivotal episode, I think for, um, for the girls, especially, for Tabby, I think it's the yeah. first time you really get a, a a look into her mental space and and maybe some of the things that she's been experiencing. Mm -hmm. um, for me, that was where I was like, okay, Tabby is coming undone, and I I get her a little bit more. I I would love to say that I got Tabby, you know, by episode one. Um, I think I made, you know, certainly when you're portraying a character, you got to make decisions um, and you got to stick with them. But yeah. I think I really, I, I got to know Tabby even more, you know, in that episode, um, which I don't think is like a weird thing to say. Cause I think we're always like oh. learning things about ourselves. And so yeah. that was like, it was an, it was a kind of a light bulb for me um, with her. And that was it was a great moment where you get to see uh, all those emotions that have been suppressed um, mm -hmm. up until this point finally get to bubble over. Mm -hmm. um, and so it's, it's that scene specifically, you know, at the, the Halloween party is one of like, it, it's a total like royal takedown of toxic masculinity. Yes, <laughs> um, and it yes. was so cathartic <laughs> for me because you know, I, Tabby is a young black woman and so am I. And so a lot of the things that I think uh, she's dealt with and, and her walk of life is one that I uh, definitely resonate with. And so it was, um, it was, it was a moment for me to get to say all the things that I would have wanted to say in my real life, but didn't, yeah. you know? Yes, I think it's gonna be so cathartic for viewers also. Yes. Like, oh yes, that's everything I've been wanting to say for yes, so long. Yes, we can all heal together. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. So were you told of Tabby's arc ahead of time? Like when you first signed on? Yes, I knew everything that I, uh, that, that Tabby knew up until that mm -hmm. point. There is still a lot that Tabby did not know. Um, and I think it's pretty clear in the first uh, couple episodes, she's definitely in search of something. Um, we'll say, we'll call it truth. <laughs> she's mm -hmm. in search of, of some kind of truth for herself. And, um, and whatever Tabby didn't know, I didn't want to know because I didn't want that to come across 
in any way um, in my performance. I wanted it to all be very grounded and authentic. And so, um, and, and true to, you know, to, to her headspace. And so I, I knew as I, I asked as many questions as I could <laughs> about, about everything tabby related. Um, and I got back what I knew about her or what she knew about herself. And, and that right. was it. So it was definitely um, a wild ride to see things unfold for yeah. both of us, for both me and Tabby. <laughs> <laughs> so what's coming up for Tabby after this episode? That you Hopefully it's the truth. <laughs> mm. I think she deserves it. Um, yeah, she's definitely, I think you can see, um, especially where episode five leaves us, you know, both yeah. and Tabby are... Um, in a very pivotal moment, um, in their, in their story, especially this season. So knowing these girls, they are, uh, very, they're very tenacious and, yes. um, and very determined and they really do stop at nothing. So that's that, the, that dynamic <laughs> duo. Um, and so absolutely you can, you can expect to see them, uh, in, in a, hot pursuit for for truth <laughs> I love it I love yeah. it and so finally you've gotten us so much love online um for this role and for zombies three there's so much love for you tell me about some of that oh it's been so lovely I <laughs> thanks for asking that I I do get um pretty anxious I think when when projects dropped I, I'm I'm not the kind of person that is like Oh, it's, it's tough. You know, it's tough to watch myself on screen. I think a lot of, a lot of my friends, um, feel a similar way. I know, yeah. um, it's tough. Some people love to watch their work. I, I really struggle with it because I am such a critic of myself, you know? Mm -hmm. Um, and so seeing people's nice comments has been really lovely, really validating. Um, it's, it's tough too, when you have, you know, especially with like, I mean, both you mentioned zombies as well. You know, zombies yeah. is something that's really uh, personal to me. It was, it, it's, you know, I, I grew up a, as a big Disney fan. And so getting to be a part of that, that world and that family in any capacity was so wonderful. Um, and I definitely feel the responsibility of, of being, a, you know, an important, important source of representation and that's something that I don't take lightly and so mm -hmm. hearing comments from kids and their parents um about how my character Willa has has helped them in one way or another is is yeah. truly like the most heartwarming and rewarding um gift and um and I hope that Pretty Little Liars has that same you know reception with people and I hope that Tabby gives visibility to people that often don't get to share their stories um, and, and hopefully helps provide people with a, a safe space to, um, to, to, to find their own truth, you know, um, yeah. within themselves. And so, yeah, I, I, I'm really excited. I'm, I feel very, very grateful. Uh, my heart is full. I'm super excited for people to see original sin. Um, and I'm also excited to see the theories, you know, it's, it's a fun show. It, it has a lot of darkness in it. Um, and we tackle some really, really, um, uh, serious topics, but it's also yeah. a thrill ride. It's fun to watch. It will have you on the edge of your seat. So yes. I just can't wait. I'm really excited. <laughs> Well, thank you so, so much for the art that you bring into the role. This was so delightful. I can't wait for people to see you in this role. Thank You're you. so good. You're so badass. I love you in this role. Thank you. So much. Thank That's you. So kind. <laughs> I really appreciate it. I really thank you. you. Thank, thank you, you so for taking for the time. time. Have a lovely day. Thank you. Thank you. You too. <laughs>